It was about four foot long. And one of the ugliest things you ever saw. Oh. But it's the giant salamander that comes from China. It lives at the bottom of the cold streams. And it doesn't do very much. Where are we supposed to be going? Well, I mean, it all just started because I must have been about 12 or 13 and we were bunking off school in Brockwell Park. And we caught a newt. And I sort of went home. And then we, I, I started going to the local pet shop. And buying more exotic ones from your like tree frogs and things like that. In official records, mm. it says that in three and a half years, Boris Johnson has attended double the amount of meetings mm. and has visited more boroughs more often than you did in an eight year yeah. post. He has visited, he's done more visits outside the building than I did. He certainly hasn't done more meetings. You've recently had a, a new autobiography mm. that's coming out. Well, it's come out, hasn't it's it? It's out, it's out, available in good all good bookshops. That's a good plug there. Yes, it's yes. called You Can't Say That. Yeah. Well, that's because when I wrote it, I had no idea what to call it. And we got the libel lawyer's report on it. 25 pages. Are you sure this is true? Can you prove this? What couldn't you say, Ken? They made me delete the, the names of a couple of people I thought might have been behind several murders. So, what's this little chap in here? Well, I don't recognise this little one. It's, um... Ooh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Moment of truth. Most probably these things just behind the ears, these bumps, mm -hmm. will be poison glands, I imagine. So if an animal tries to pick one up, it, it, it hurts itself on the ribs, which just protrude through the skin. China. But you're... Yeah. Sorry, oh, yeah. I'm not sure whether you're allowed to handle them. Oh, sorry. Oh, right, 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 I'll we'll just put it oh, back in sorry. there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It is illegal to handle the great crested newts if you haven't got a licence. Uh, recently, there's been a quote, and again, you can refute this. Last week, I'm sure you even know what I'm going to say. No, no. Well, okay, I, I quote, it says, You said to a Tory councillor, and if there's any justice, you will burn in hell. Flesh will be flayed for demons. For all eternity. Yes, I thought it's you a bit might, macabre. I thought you might actually work on the fact that that was a joke. I mean, that I don't, as I'm an atheist, I don't believe anyone's going to hell to have their um, flesh played by demons. I read somewhere that you wanted to have a silver crested newt as the 2012 Olympic mascot. Is there any truth in that? None whatsoever. There is no silver crested newt. Silver back crested newt? Anything to do? Anything? No, doesn't ring a bell. I just made that one up or someone else did. People make up lots of stories <laughs> about me. Well, it's good uh, to. Uh, there's the one about MI5 having a file on me in school girls. It echoes with the things I've been saying on my political career. I do genuinely believe Ed Miliband is going to win the next election and start a policy of a much fairer society, much better range of jobs for people. Um, one in which you know we start building houses again, and when fares come down with a bit of help from the government, I'll be able to cut them even more. Get really close on a hot day, you'll find that there's flies all the way around their lips mm. trying to eat the filthy smell that's coming from their teeth because their their teeth will I mean one small bite will give you septicemia. Could you see yourself maybe if you believed in reincarnation to come back as a newt? I mean I know like, you've got this as an atheist but I am there's a real problem with that being being an atheist since the age of eleven. I mean it'd be nice to think, you know, you can come back as something else but I'm afraid no my assumption is when you croak, that's it.